Brian Rada for the Red Carpet Report. We're in Beverly Hills today celebrating the Actors Fund 20th Anniversary Tony Awards viewing party. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Where'd you get this amazing jacket first off? Oh, just uh, Topshop. You know. I was going to say, I, that, that actually looks like a Topshop jacket. Yeah, I love Topshop, don't you? Doesn't I do. T- I, think, I think so. I think those Brits know what they're doing. Oh my God, someone is looking out for me right now. Oh, thank you. Perfect. I wish this would have come before the pictures, but, you know, take what you can get. How are you? I'm fantastic. We're here watching, this is the 20th celebration of the Actors Fund, watching the Tonys. Um, tell me about your experience with, with live theater. Ha, have you ever treaded the boards yourself? Sure have. I made my Broadway debut uh, when I was 21 in Rock of Ages, uh, the original cast, and then went on to be in the original cast of The Addams Family, very lucky. Um, and now I'm living in LA. And I have a, a great relationship with the Actors Fund. They produced uh, one act that I wrote last year, and we've developed this great working relationship. And they're, it's a great organization. It's like my favorite charity. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, tell me about some of the work that the Actors Fund does for actors and entertainment. Oh my God. Well, uh, so many things. Uh, but you know, specifically, I'm going to pick one thing that I really like about because they do so many things. It's hard to narrow it down. Uh, one of the things that that they're known for is transitioning actors, uh, transitioning dancers. Um, you know, the dancer's career is 35, 40 years. Uh, transitioning them out, transitioning actors into retirement. Um, you know, this is such an unstable business. Yes, it's such got, it's extreme ebb and flow, emotionally, financially. Um, you really can't count on anything. Um, there's no security, and the Actors Fund is is there for security. Um, I remember a specific time in my life when. Uh, financially, the rug got pulled out from underneath me, and the Actors Fund was there, and they helped me get health insurance, and they helped oh, me fantastic. get therapy, and they helped me get all the things I needed. So Good. I can't speak uh, with more admiration for the Actors Fund. I, I am a huge fan. Awesome. Any favorites today to uh, win to win a few of these Tonys? Who, do, who, who are you placing bets on? Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that Hamilton will sweep, but. Um, I, I'm very excited. I think Cynthia Erivo from uh, The Color Purple was a standout. It was pr- probably one of the best performances, male or female, that I've seen in years. Um, she's been getting a lot of acclaim for that role, hasn't she? She's, uh, she takes you to church. She really does. I hope they sort of benef- uh, dedicate. I know the Tony Awards are, are dedicating tonight to Orlando, but I hope that The Color Purple, it, it's a, that's such a, when you go see that show, it's like going to church, and it's so inspiring and uplifting, and I hope that they sort of dedicate their performances to Orlando as well. What are your thoughts on Orlando since since you went there? This is a huge moment, um, you know, in the LGBT community, uh, people coming against them yet again, and um, obviously the, the theater community is full of gays and lesbians, and that's, I think, why the Tonys are, cel- are honoring Orlando tonight. What are your, what do you think it's going to take for us as a, as a nation, as a world, to end, end these tragedies? Any, I mean, not to put you on the spot, but... Yeah, I don't want to say too much uh, politically right now, just because I'm still digesting and processing everything that's happening. I am gay. I am from Orlando. Uh, oh, so I didn't know that. It's okay. Um, I'm still waiting on names of people so to, to know if I know anyone who died. Uh, so this is all... I'm processing a lot today, and it's a very overwhelming day, and I something that is really hard is going on online and seeing uh, people use it for campaign, people use it for a uh, political agenda right now, which it's hard not to, of course, because we all have our very opinionated, uh, passionate point of views Yes, on what's happening right now. And this is definitely, I think, a turning point for us because it's the biggest uh, tragedy in U.S. history uh, since 9-11. Um, so I... It's very sensitive, and I'm, I'm a little reticent to, to sort of get on a platform. Right well, now. no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy watching the Tonys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, give us a like, and in the comments below, tell us what your favorite Broadway musical is. From the folks here, it looks like Hamilton's a surefire win for most of the Tonys. My attire today is provided courtesy of Jeffrey Rudis. Check them out at jeffreyrudis.com.